Time to use my ninja skills. Shh, what about what the heck? <laughs> Be quiet. This is a ninja mission. Benjamin, are you here? So it was Benjamin placing these, but Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. Huh, it's locked. Hmm, a picture of a key. Interesting. My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. Hmm, a real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> a secret button. Alright then, I push the button. Open sesame! That was easy. Alright, time to find Mangy. Oh. Oof. Oh, Ow. that was unfortunate. I hope things get better when I get the eternal happiness. Okay, Miss Fortune. Let's finish this. Get up, Miss Fortune. You are stronger than you think. You've been knocked down before. Did you let that stop you? No. Come on now. Up, 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 up. Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. Because... Because... You are the little lady, little Miss Fortune. Fortune. <laughs> okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Pet the baby. Dream come true. Pet the I'm baby. Petting the baby deer. <laughs> Is that Benjamin's bag? Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time and that's very sucky. I knew I couldn't trust you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children. And I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Ma! Stop that. Then play with me. You need to find oh, your eternal happiness. You touched I'll the give little you girl. It's Arr! at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you. 
at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What did you do to him? Freaking monster. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. Outside the constituted free five realms of essential existence have appeared. After the ultra war, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm. We refer to it as the beyond. Oh, this is really mysterious. The Beyond is, in simple terms, a place of extreme absurd absurdity with no logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside the free at the moment, since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the Ultra Reality. Before the Ultra War, the Beyond is still a misunderstood. Misunderstood realm, pardon me. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect with it in a logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. And that's why we need to need the protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims and guide them into Saturn City. The guide provided is, in this book, must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step for each victim. The Protector returns to certain city. The protector will will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step one: the protector must locate the victims and the parasite. Protector's parasite case P zero one zero two. Or sorry, zero one zero one triple two. Morgul. Evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two. Need of assistance checklist. The victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. The victim is already dead but doesn't realize it. The victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. The victim sympathizes with the parasite. Checklist of parasite, Morgul. Deforms reality into absurdity. Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. It shapeshifts into a human-animal creature. It quickly learns about the environment, language, and culture are not an issue with, for the parasite. Large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Margo, giving him an overlook of his playing ground. Step 2. Use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with victim. It could lead to irreversible tra trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step three immediately. 
Step three, prepare direct contact with. With the what? Now I will never know. Oh, that's pretty much obvious. I mean, about getting ready for whatever. For game. Ugh. Preparing to confront Morgul. I'll take the train back home. Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this like weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized. Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow. Sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> Get off! 